Okay, my friends, this is just unbelievable, but it appears to be true. These are the smallest particles they have ever found, which is the muon neutrino and electron neutrino. It's a black fixed particle and a white squishy particle. We literally separated them, and then they came back together. And now I just found where we can actually watch them reconfiguring. Nobody's ever seen any of this before. All right, you saw the ones that they found at Fermi Lab in CERN, which is this big black one, which is not big, it's the tiniest particle that exists, but it's a muon, and this is the electron neutrino. Now, we saw them in photons of light. That's a photon. There's those two particles, and each side is an attached particle. One, each side would be considered an electron. Nobody's ever known about the black particle before. Brand new information. They see them at CERN, but they, they just see them in debris. We see them actually manifesting themselves, turning into these particles, and then we actually see the particles separate, the black separate from the white, exactly what CERN Fermi Lab would like to see. But we're using light, so we can actually watch it develop. Not only that, once they separate, you got black and you got white. When they come back together, we can see that too. Here's what happened. There's the light, normal, pulsed laser, not accelerating. We accelerated through a Venturi. When that happened, we created those particles, the black and white particles. They actually separated here, which is fission, came back to here together, which is fusion. And in the meantime, while they're coming out of here, they're separated. The black and the white are not together anymore. Well, guess what? Here's where they come back together, right at the tip of the Higgs fields. It blew me right away when I figured out what was going on here. Right at the tip of the Higgs fields, the black is coming back together to the white and they're becoming the black and white particles that we saw before. Okay, one final time here. Here's the Fermi Lab point particle here, which is the gushy one, and here's the black fixed particle. So we know we can see these particles. Here they are. They're, they're coming from light, so we're actually seeing the particles that CERN and Fermi Lab see when they combust smash particles into little bits and pieces. We can actually see them develop in the stream and right here, we were, that we're watching those particles develop into those little black and white particles here. Right into that, in that stream. And then they separate here and they refuse here. This is the separation. Right here, we have totally black and white gone from each other. And right there, they come back together. And that's where we saw the black and the white fusing back together at the tip of the... Higgs field. You see this? This is coming out of the Venturi. Every one of these little white spritzers is, is by itself the white particle and it will eventually start to turn into these disks when it, it, it attaches to the black. That's all I can say. That's what we see. The tip is where we're seeing the black attached to the white. Behind they are still in their red or, or glowy configuration until they make contact with black. That's all I can tell you at this point. These are the most elegant patterns I've ever seen in my life, but these are the tips, and this is an actual photo of the energy, energy values that are in that tip of those Higgs fields. They seem to circle around, they have exact distances between each other, the push to shove works perfect. These are not yet turn back into complete particles. These are still in their energetic phase and very soon they will take on the black particle and turn them back into what we would consider a dipole electron. Okay, it's, uh, it's basically a brand new model of the uh, uh, nucleus which makes it into a dipole. I call it dipole electron flood theory because these Electrons are dipoles. They consider this would be an electron. Both of these glued together, and they call it a gluon. I call it an electron. This is the only part that's buzzy and glowy. This is just a banger, and I show all this stuff very, very clearly. 
this is the particle we saw when we accelerated it through the Venturi. Then that particle, as I showed you before, broke into the black and the white completely separate. And then I showed you them coming back together. This is literally the whole new theory. Nothing exists except muons and electron neutrinos. You stack them up bigger and bigger and bigger, they become bigger and bigger and bigger elements. Oops. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. And none of, not, the hydrogen is not one big gigantic proton like this. And one tiny, tiny little electron, totally negative, totally positive. Absolutely not. It is this. It is all, the proton would be all electrons together, which are dipoles. And then one more out here that wants to get in, and this says, no, we have enough. We don't want you in here. So you can stay right there. That's your quantum distance but you can't come in. Now, they have just proven my theory by showing that a proton in a very strong magnetic field can squish. It can go just like that. They can pull them. A proton's not supposed to do that. The proton's supposed to be this. Not supposed to be this. They realize now that they were wrong about everything. And it's, it's an extremely slow release of this information when if we could release this information right now, Lasers are on the shelf right now. Photo receivers are on the shelf right now. Solar collectors. If we can increase the energy, which we did, and create fission and fusion, which we did, fission and fusion, we created the muon, sterile muon, an electron shower, exactly like CERN and Fermilab want, we should be able to get free energy. They say it increases a minimum of 207 times. If you look at the electron volt increase, it's just billions of times. So we should easily be able to harvest free energy. Because I'm going to tell you right now, anytime you can increase the voltage of something without having to put anything extra in, you have increased the energetic value. This is voltage. Anytime you see glow, that is energy. That's push. It's voltage. If we have P is power equals electrons, the number of electrons, times the voltage. I don't care if the electrons increase or not. The voltage is going through the roof, so the power will go through the roof. I say we can get free power, and we can do it within a couple of weeks if we put, a, put our minds to it. And then we'd have free power for everybody. You could carry around a lunchbox if you want. No grid required, no harm to the environment totally free, clear, clean, and um, safe.